Well, good Friday morning. I want to remind all of you that uh, we are practicing, and we're actually practicing tonight for our, our, um, our Christmas program. And so when we come with you uh, for Plaid Friday today, it will certainly be one of the songs we do, and uh, maybe a little something else that goes along with it, all right? But please put that in your schedule for Sunday, the 20th, at 5 o'clock, our regular service, we're going to be doing our, our Christmas program. So, <clears throat> now we were looking yesterday, <clears throat> and we saw three prophecies, three prophecies, uh, or I'm sorry, eight prophecies over three verses that have already been fulfilled. These are prophecies that, that have been, been uh, already proven in history. So now, as we're moving along, all right, and we're looking at chapters 52 and 53 of the Messiah, uh, we're going to go ahead and pick up today in verse 15. So he will sprinkle many nations, and kings will shut their mouths because of him. For what they were not told, they will see. And what they have not heard, they will understand. So we see here where it says, they will sprinkle many nations. What does that mean? What does that mean? Well, here's what it means when we get into the Hebrew word of it all, all right? It means this, that they will, it will startle, startle many nations. Remember, Jesus came to earth to be the Messiah for the Jews. But he is also what? the Savior for the world, all right? And so when it talks about startling other nations, we always think of a nation like, well, you got, you got uh, England, you got Canada, you got the United States. And actually, nations were people groups. When you're looking in Scripture back at that time, they're really talking about the nations as different people groups, all right? So he will startle different people groups because all of a sudden, they're going to realize <clears throat> that the Jewish Messiah... The, the, what the Jews had been practicing came to pass, that it was true, that all the things that were prophesied were coming true. Now, we need to de dig a little deeper. <clears throat> First, we need to understand, again, that Jesus was the Messiah for the Jews, but the Savior for the world. So when we look at uh, Matthew, uh, in verses 18, 20, and Matthew 28, all right, it helps us kind of put in perspective what Jesus was saying to his apostles after the resurrection. And he said this, starting in verse 18. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations. See how that works? Okay. Baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything I've commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. So after the resurrection, Jesus goes to his apostles and basically explains, here's what you are to do now. And we see this prophecy that was talking, that was written 700 years prior to that how it's come in place, and how the church, the church exploded. And remember, they started in Jerusalem, but then they worked out throughout the world. Think about how many Christians there are in the world nowadays. Galatians 3.28 says this, There's neither Jew nor Greek, neither slave nor free. There's neither male or female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. It's one of our favorite verses. In fact, I don't know if you know that. That's how Plaid got its name. Because when we're called, we're called from all these different nations, different colors, different races, different heights, different weights, different nationalities. But we all come together, all right, in, in a beautiful pattern. And that's what, how Plaid Church got its name, actually, the pattern of Plaid, all right, as, as all these Christians come together. So we now see that the eyes of other nations were opened. And that, uh, that his, his death and his resurrection were not just for the Jews, but for all the people groups. So now, how many prophecies have we fulfilled now? I think that's nine, right? Yeah, it's nine. So now we're going to move into chapter 53. 
And believe it or not, it gets better. And we'll find that out tomorrow. Father God, we thank you. We thank you so much. We look and we see these prophecies. And we see how what was written so many years before you, Jesus, ever came to the earth. And how they come to pass now. You build our faith and we praise you for it. I ask you to bless everyone today. Bless all those who are listening to my voice. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless.